Hi, this is Karthik. I am a web developer and the founder of WP Algorithm. dot com. On Design School by WP Algorithm, I make step by step WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing. And let's get into today's topic. Now, in this video, I want to show you how you can add custom CSS to your WordPress website the right way without having to worry about any complexities of theme updates or anything. the fundamentally two ways in which you can do this one is by the default wordpress way and the second way is by using elementor pro and it's highly visual it gives you instant feedback and i'll discuss both in this video stay tuned to learn how to add custom css to your wordpress website the right way let's get into it so let's start with the default way of adding custom css which is by using the customizer area of your theme right so let's say i just want to change the color of this green cart button i'll just right click i'll just click on inspect element and i'll inspect the class of this button and it turns out to be elementor menu cart toggle button i'll copy the class name i'll go to customize area so i'll go to the customizer area of my theme and whenever you change your theme you need to copy the css into your new themes custom css area i have something called additional css and there will be something called custom css or additional css whenever you click on customize on your wordpress dashboard so it looks something like that just paste the class name add a dot and let's change the background to blue and when i add it important it is targeting it properly right now you can see the color of this cart button change to blue well that's cool well you can add any css that you want let's say i just want to change the text color or maybe i just want to add the stroke effect to this text i can simply right click and inspect this element and it's basically element heading title right so i can copy this and i can simply paste the class name dot and i can apply any property that i want maybe something like that right not the exact one but something of that sort and i added it to this heading widget well you can simply put that in the customizer area whatever custom css you have simply copy and paste this and this is one way to add custom css you can simply publish that and also here you can see the changes in real time but i don't recommend this method i'm going to show you another cool way to add custom css to your wordpress posts or pages which is by using elementor pro now if you don't have elementor pro i highly recommend you get it because you get visual feedback and you can do it per page per widget per section per column or per the whole website so i'm going to take this whole css i'm going to cut it from here you can simply hit publish and i'll just click on this x button i'll go to the site basically this page was built with elementor because elementor is a visual way to build pages and most of the wordpress posts and pages you'll anyway be building with elementor i'll click on edit with elementor and you can add custom css starting with the page level even the individual widget level or you can put it for the whole website all at once right so let's say i just want to change the custom css of this or the stroke text property of this i'll just click on this widget click on advanced scroll down to custom css and i can simply paste that and it applies the css not just for this widget but also to the cart button as well now what if i want to specify or apply custom css only to this widget right i'll just remove the above custom css for now so we, basically the cart button returns to the normal green color now we have this stroke text what if i want to apply this particular property only to the heading only to this heading but not any other heading as you can see even this heading is getting the property well this is where the magic of elementor pro kicks in right when you say selector space and you put custom css within that widget only that widget is going to be affected by the custom css that you put 
So selector will essentially target this widget or this container and whatever you put after that will just apply it to that particular element within the container. So here the container is the heading widget and then it's targeting only the heading widget within this widget container which is only this heading. If I remove selector again, it affects almost every heading widget on the page, right? I'll put it back and it just applies it only to this. So that is applying it at the widget level. You can also make it even specific. Instead of saying selector and putting it in the same widget container, you can click on this heading widget, give it a name. Under CSS classes, under advanced, I'll just call it my heading. I'll copy this class name. Now instead of selector, I can simply say dot my heading and even now it applies that particular property or the stroke property only to this heading widget. What if I want the stroke for other heading widgets as well? Well, I can simply give this heading a class of my heading and it will apply the property to this heading as well, right? And even there's a better way, you can simply copy and let's say I just want to apply it to this heading as well. I can right click and click on paste style and it will put all the CSS properties applied to this heading widget to this widget as well. Even the center align property is applied to this, which is why it's being aligned to the center. I can change it obviously by clicking this button. And if I go to advanced tab of this widget, you can see the CSS class is automatically added because we just copied and pasted the style and it's going to copy and paste all the CSS properties. Now we can tidy this up. Since we added code to this particular heading widget, since we gave it a class name, I can actually cut this from this. I can simply click on the settings cog. I can go to style or I can go to advanced and I can put the CSS even here. So this is the page level CSS, meaning only the elements on this page are affected by the CSS applied on this page. Also, only the elements that have the my heading class will be affected. But what if I want to apply it website wide? Well, Elementor gives you even more flexibility. You can simply take this CSS or basically any CSS, click on the hamburger menu, click on site settings, and you have a global level custom CSS. So I can simply click on that and paste that. And just like that, it will be applied to every heading widget on the website with my heading class. So basically any heading widget with my heading class will basically get all the properties that you define in within this. So even if I change the font size, maybe to 55 pixels, it's totally up to us and we can change basically the properties of every heading widgets all from within a central dashboard within the site settings. I just need to hit pub update or publish and the site settings are published. And this CSS is now applied to any heading widget across the page. The same applies to this. So I'll just click on edit header. I'll give this cart a class name. I'll just call it my cart. I'll copy this. Again, I'll click on the hamburger menu. Go to site settings. Since we're doing this globally, I'll click on custom CSS. Now I'll first paste the cart class name. I'll right click. I'll inspect this element and it's Elementor menu cart toggle button. I'll copy that, paste the class name, background, blue. And just like that, you don't even need to add important tag since we're targeting it perfectly precisely. You can see that that CSS is being applied. So this is the beauty of having Elementor Pro. Thank you so much for watching and that's how you do it. And to learn more tutorials like this, head over to WordPress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel. And if you're new on this channel, consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up and click on the notification bell to get notified of more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.